<laughs> we on? Um, yeah. We are live. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. It is the Ferrilli show with uh Ross Juder McDuder. Juder McDuder. And uh and and Silla Fresh is here. Yeah. That's my that's my Instagram. And I got to tell you, I was like it was so hard to to come up with an Instagram name because like Jude the dude was taken, Rude Jude was taken, all these things were taken, mm-hmm. and like I was like Jude two for eight. It's my old area code, like Jude two for eight, two and three. Like it just wasn't working. And then I was like Juder McDuder, Juder McDuder, and I gotta tell you, I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> you say that on your voicemail. You always get me on that voicemail too. You like, what up though? And I'll go in and hey, what's up? You motherfucker. And it's not me. <laughs> uh shit. Oh, uh yeah, yeah. Uh, um, we got to start plugging it whether at the the beginning or the end, but the new the email address okay. is is uh for really show. That's 1 R F O R E A L L Y for really show at like gmail. Fo- really. Dot com. Fo really for really show at show. gmail.com dog but uh hit us up there you know what i'm saying like if you want to ask us some shit or you know what i'm saying like you know or you want to say i don't know whatever you know what i'm saying you really like, want to talk to us you want to tell us how awesome we are you know what i mean we don't get paid for this shit so like you know fucking compliments pictures of your, your girl's tits are awesome yeah, yeah that too that too yeah, letting us sleep with your girl. Fucking, you know I mean? that's how you say thank you. Straight the fuck up. That shit's kind of weird, man. Sleeping with someone else's girl? No, like just the sending of pictures and the ass pictures and tip pictures of your girl. Well, you see, I think we were talking about that before. Um, and like, I'm posting it all the time on my Instagrams. And the, you know what's w- the worst? Is the girls that don't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even it's just like I pretend like I don't see him and it's gotta be killing these guys like yeah. like man my girl didn't even make the cut they, like day day 47 my girl still isn't posted up there <laughs> like come on you posted that ass my girl's ass is way tighter than that ass do you get you get like a like a lot of uh, repeat cats you know what I'm saying trying to get the, the girl on sending different they'll, angles they'll do, there's a couple guys that just keep sending it and it's just not gonna work for me yeah um, I just don't like your girl's body that much. It's, I'm like, and the thing, the weird thing about women is like, let's, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like a girl's body, the most important part of a woman's body when you're having sex with her is, is her the vagina. Yeah, it's her pussy. It's mm-hmm. her vagina. It's mm-hmm. like, it doesn't matter. Like, honestly, yeah. It, there's been girls with, awesome bodies that i that i've slept with and mm-hmm. it's just like whack you know what mm-hmm. i mean like the sex isn't good we, we're not compatible something's mm-hmm. not right and, and a lot of times and tell me if you agree with this you know what i'm saying sometimes you ever see like there's some chicks where they're better to look at than fuck yeah that's i i see that a lot and i'll see girls where i'm like i bet you she's got a dry but i bet your pussy doesn't get that wet you know what i mean like mm-hmm. or she, it, just in general maybe yeah. you, you know just in general i bet you that she just and a lot of times it's like these tall skinny girls that look like models or some shit i see them out here and i just can't see them i just think when i see them i'm just i bet you she's got a big cave pussy that doesn't get wet it's all sandy Mm -hmm. i don't know Mm -hmm. why i have that thought about them and then i'll see like a little i always think chubby girls pussies get wet for some reason Mm -hmm. like there's (laughs) there's no rhyme or reason to it but uh um my thing is like, I'll see. Uh, oh, my, not to cut you off, but uh, um, but, you but did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but you fuck not to not to say, fuck you, but fuck you. But uh, you know the words. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, like you know, you like when I see a see a chick, you know what I mean? Or there there have been times, you know what I'm saying? Like when when like like a girl has has a nice body, you know what I'm yeah. saying? A nice body, but like you know, maybe she doesn't know how to move. You know what I mean? Like she, she don't know what she don't know what to do with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh and so that's that is fucking awkward, you know. It's just it's just weird. And those are those are what I'm talking about like with those occasions where it's better to look at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just, I I I like to see your ass. You're good on picture. You know, you know what I'm saying? A picture of your butt looks awesome, but, but I don't know about having sex with you. Yeah. I don't 
there's a couple girls that I've slept with over the years, and it's it's that whole pretty person bubble shit. Like the it's they they did a uh, thing on it on uh, like Thirty Rock where it's like the pretty people they live in a bubble. Mm-hmm. They don't under like pretty people, good looking people don't even understand how good they have it. Mm-hmm. Um, there there was a there was just a study that people in the workplace, if you're ugly, you just get treated worse. Like yeah, it's yeah. the fucking. If you're in, so the flip side is, then you must get treated better if you look good. If you you don't have to work as hard. Mm-hmm. Shit comes easier to you. Mm-hmm. You get more opportunities. It's just the way it is. And in bed, you, unless this chick is like super sexual, a lot of times they're just fucking lazy lovers. Like yeah. they're not like, yeah, they're not bringing the, they're not bringing their A game. They're right. not like fucking like. They're not fucking like, yo, I gotta right, hold got on to something to prove or yeah. some shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They don't have they, like for me, I got when I when I go to fuck a girl, I've got fifteen years of being called a fat ass <laughs> that I'm bringing to the fucking table every goddamn day. I got an inferiority complex the size of my house. Like I I'm bringing all that shit to the fucking table and yo, you are coming a few Dude, times. Like, like I'm yo, I'm fucking you like I got a point to prove. You're fucking like just, uh, I'm good looking. Yeah. I'm fucking you know it. I'm you not a fat it. ass. I'm not a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm bringing so much pain to the table that's just making me try so goddamn hard. And these these chicks don't have that shit. They just... Like that Paris Hilton video, her sex tape, she looked whack as yeah, hell in man. bed, right? She, she was just, checking herself not, out. Man, for one, she's not even good looking to me. You know what but, I'm saying? But whether, she, whether you find her good looking or not... Yeah. She's generally thought to be good looking, and I'm sure she was treated in that way. Mm-hmm. And it and it translates in the way she's banging right there. Mm. She's just like fucking. Here's she fucks like a spoiled little bitch. Yeah, and 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 you know, and that that's 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 another thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, man, because I I think it's I think it's like the it's the money, it's the fame, it's the celebrity. You know what I mean? That that alters our perception of these people because like you take all their money away you take you know what i'm saying you take the the uh you know the 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 money makeup off you know oh, what i'm yeah. saying to take the hair off you she, know what i mean she's a raggedy looking skinny bitch yeah she just looks like the fucking some chick that didn't make the cheerleading team. straight the fuck up she looks like the bitch that like people finger at parties you know like a boy you know what i'm saying like you know that's 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 her body like she doesn't right. have a body but to some people She's got a tight body, tight. She's gonna appeal to a certain kind of guy, True and like for me, like I. And here's the deal, like here is the deal. I'll smash a skinny broad. I'll smash a fat broad because over, over, over my over the years, I've learned to appreciate women. Um, fat, skinny, no hips, all hips. You like? I like. Mm-hmm. There's. I have preferences. Mm-hmm. I have preferences, but I've. I understand that just because it looks good on paper doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be awesome for me to sleep with mm-hmm. i remember you were in your uh chubby girl phase yeah I remember when i was well because it was just fat girls were such a rarity out here it mm-hmm. was like in michigan like chicks yo they started getting fat around 25 like yo mm-hmm. it's just downhill by the time they're 30 these chicks are about 30 pounds bigger than high yeah, school on average yeah, yeah so it's just like fat chicks are just that's the commonplace thing in michigan but you come out here it is uh, in Los Angeles. It's an image-driven town, mm-hmm. so you're just not going to get as many fatties. You'll get the fat Mexicans, but they're not fucking me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they're they're yeah. they're already they're already three kids deep by the time it's time for me to get it, fuck them. Like mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. for me to catch a fat Mexican without a bunch of kids, I got to get them in high school. Right, right. You got to get them young. I got to get the motherfuckers. Yeah, young. young. <laughs> Cause they are fucking. It's a different culture, bro. Like it's not yo. And their fat is a weird kind of fat. They they're, they got that Aztec body, where a lot of it's not like the chicks with the European blood in them. Mm-hmm. Works a lot better than the ones that look like the like the fucking uh, Pisa the Pisa bitches, uh, which is like boxy like mm-hmm. it's going all to their belly it turns into some weird box they turn into little boxes in yeah. sweatpants yeah 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 they you know and it happens it happens quick you know what i'm saying oh, there's, there's that moment where damn yeah and then that after damn. King, at her quinceanera she's <laughs> like oh she's gonna be a beautiful young lady <laughs> yeah. and fucking three years later 
<laughs> and the dudes tend to stay in pretty good shape mm-hmm. compar- comparatively. Mm-hmm. So, like, you'll see at the bus stops, like, a, a young Mexican dude, like, in pretty good shape making out with the fucking a bitch in skinny yes. jeans with, with, with just tummy spilling all over. He can't even get both his arms no. around the bitch. You know what I'm saying? And that's <laughs> why they go, yo, that's why you see them, uh, like, them, yo, you want you want to see a Mexican dude kryptonite? Bring a blonde bitch over to the. <laughs> yo, you can get anything done. Just bring a fucking blonde. Yo, bring a blonde chick to Home Depot and see see how much see see how much work you can get done, bro. <laughs> because it's not what they're getting. The yeah. same way, like I prefer darker chicks because I look at my I'm pink as shit. You know what I mean? Like it's it's different to me. It's different than me. It's, yeah. Uh, well, I, honestly, the, the other shit is I grew up, I had a crush on my godmother, who was my aunt, when I was little. I thought she was so pretty, mm-hmm. and she has darker coloring, so that's why I tend to go towards darker coloring. Yeah. That was yeah, just yeah. that was just my thing. Yeah. Not like I was like, I'm, I never like jerked off to my aunt or anything, but like I doted on her. She treated. I doted on her. <laughs> she doted on me. She, she's my godmother, man. <laughs> doted. Doted. Um, oh, I can't use different words. Only you are allowed to use. <laughs> the only words that really count is if there's seven syllables, you fucking elitist. You're such a fucking word elitist. The other one is playing Russell now to improve your vocabulary. Uh, but no. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, man. I think, you know, like, I got, I got, I'll go through phases too, you know what I'm saying, with special taste, you know what I mean? And then there's the things that have been consistent, you know what I mean? Like, I really like... I really like chicks with freckles, man. You know well, freckles saying? are hard to come by, especially when they're, unless you're like hitting on twelve year olds. <laughs> People tend chicks you tend to outgrow their fucking freckles, so yeah, it's, that's they're hard to come by. And like uh, I was when I was at the swap meet just uh, uh, last week, uh, um, I saw this uh, red bone. You know what I'm saying? And she was like tattooed up and shit. You know right. what I'm saying? It had freckles across her fucking oh, nose. Was, that was the only place she had freckles. You oh, know what I'm bro. saying? I was like, oh, you motherfucker. Man, yo, you know what you, you know what you, I had a thing that I finally, uh, I probably, uh, you know, finally like halfway knocked down. Well, I finally got a tan redhead. I've been trying to get oh, a tan word. redhead forever. This yeah. chick is natural redhead, and she be tanning. I wanted a naturally tan redhead. Like uh, there was this Armenian chick I was trying to smash, or like some, a lot of times you'll see like uh, Puerto Rican chicks, or sometimes some Mexicans and stuff. But this was a white girl that would tan and like tan redhead. I finally got it. I was like, and I was real red, real red. Yeah, I was bragging yeah. on it too. The when I was fucking with her, I'm like, yeah, I finally she got, got a body it. too. Right? Yeah, she does. Yeah. I see that a lot of times, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times with the uh like like ginger ginger females, man, like they'll they'll have like a little body. Whatever you generally speaking, they're from like them motherfucking them regions where them Vikings and shit are from. You know, mm-hmm. they're from they're from they're from hardy places. Yeah. They got hardy gene they got a hard they come from a hardy gene pool. Mm-hmm. So it's like they're gonna be a little thicker. Yeah. Voluptuous. Yo, when you saw me fucking with the fat chicks what did you think? It it was it was weird, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because like to know what you, to see what you you do normally, you know right, what I'm right. saying? And then to be out with you and you're like pointing out pointing out this shit now, you right, know what right. I'm saying? You're like yeah, see, right there is what I'm talking about, and it's this little round oompa loompa looking right. bitch. You know like, what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, no, it was. And, and to be <laughs> fair, for people to understand, it was like. It was like it was it was slightly smaller than what a, the average black guy would go for for mm-hmm. a fat girl. It was mm-hmm. slightly it was downsized from it like Ross was over. That's why I said yeah. chubby. Yeah, they were chubby. They chicks. were chubby, right? but not they were, fat. They were big. You know, they were yeah. they were but they were curvy. They were Rubenesque. Mm-hmm. But man, yeah, I had some fun with them. And you know what? Generally speaking, hard triers and had good sex one girl i didn't have good sex with um but most of them i was just having fucking it was awesome mm-hmm. but the thing what well, it was like yo this isn't gonna last because let's be real this is how big you are right now let's say i take you serious mm-hmm. it's you're not getting smaller from here mm-hmm. right. this is it right this is you're you're doing it it's like the doing it. it's like the golden hour at like when the sun's setting and you go to take pictures like this is this is it <laughs> and then that's over it's over this is where this is as good as it's gonna be right right 
I got you at that moment. Yeah. And that's kind of that was kind of a cool thing for me. I also like that. It was like this is a fleeting moment, so like let me just take full advantage of that shit. And uh now I don't care. I'll take I'll take whatever. Um just anything. Yeah, well, know. honestly, like you know me, I'd rather have a girlfriend. But that said, I'm not gonna stop doing what I do. I don't know how to. Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I get half half of my fucking um, self esteem comes from my penis. You know what I mean? Like it's not like what am I do? Get it from my job? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, I, I mean, I don't think that's a bad motivator. You know what I'm saying? I guess not. You know, it's not a bad motivator. It's connected to you. you know it what is saying? connected what else do you to you. You know? And yo, hey, I'm, I've, yo, over the years, I've gotten pretty good at it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I've gotten pretty good at the shit. You know, what, so what else why are you not? Gonna, I, I see, is that a new watch? It's relatively new. So this is a Contiki. Okay. This is a Turnamatic Contiki. You know, it's Pretty. better better let your dick motivate you than fucking watches. Buying things. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. Like, whatever. Like, I don't even, we don't even need to go down that road. I'm just saying. Oh, now you want to talk about what we need to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was, I just didn't want it to turn into like some fucking therapy session where I'm like crying on a pillow. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that either. And then, <laughs> I try. I try. I try to talk to them. I just uh. so just back in the back in the taste, man. You know what I'm saying? Just there's there's just different tastes, man. You know, um, like I told I told you about the time, like you know, and uh, again, we don't need to go into this because I think we spoke about it on on the the other thing where I just like where I'll see something and then I'll be like, yeah, man, you know, I want to know what that's like. Yeah, you, you want to try saying? it out? Yeah, like like I told you, like I told you about the like the nerd girls. You know You're what I'm curious. saying? Like I want. I want, like, nerd girls. Like, I want girls that go to those fucking conventions and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, All awkward and shit. Yeah. And the weird sex you know what things. What I mean? Because I, I think she would just, like, you know, like, I don't know anything about her world. Right. Right? And she doesn't know anything about my world. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I think that would be, like, an interesting yeah, yeah, collision. Yeah. Uh, that was like when I was talking about fucking the skinhead or, uh, yeah, like, yeah. or the, they're like, goth chicks. Like, it's just I want to, like... I want to take my dick on a trip. You want to put your dick in their world. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go dick tripping. <laughs> like, help me understand your world. Whoa, wow, anime, break it down for me. Like, why are they all in fucking school outfits? I don't get it. <laughs> Was it that would be wonder dick? Wonder dick? Wonder dick? What the fuck does that mean? Would that, would, would that be how you could use that? I'm 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 gonna stop because I don't. What know. is wonder dick? Is that but a word? Like, you know, like you you got the 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 wonder lust. What the fuck is wonder lust? Wonderkin. It's like it's like you know is like that, you, is you that travel anime? and shit. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that's what that means, man. I don't know, bro. Yo, if I'm wrong, fuck y'all. I don't give a damn. I'm well, not gonna Google it. You probably aren't wrong. You just use words on me that like you be using like you be wordy. You're a wordy motherfucker. I. I, I, I like to read the dictionary. That's cool, man. And I'm not mad about it. And we'll be working out and you'll hit me with words. And I'm like, and I stop you. And I'm like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> and but, but see, and, and yo, and that's, that that's uh, I respect that about you. You know what I'm saying? I respect that about you that, you know, like you'll hear a word that you've never heard before. And you'll be like, what do you mean? You right? know, I think because people already think I'm dumb. So like, <laughs> I, got fuck, <laughs> I got nothing to lose here. I don't give a <laughs> shit. They think I'm a fucking idiot anyway. I'm like, hey, what does that mean? <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, I'm I dumb. Still, I don't, sure, I don't like the motherfucker that you know won't will just sit there like, yeah, I know what you're saying, or they give the word right back to you. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, yeah, I was yeah, wonder, wonder, wonderlust, wonderkin. I, I yeah. thought it was a weird anime inside joke. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Ross, wonderlust, whatever the fuck you say, bro. I said, I said, uh, uh, I said, uh, vacillate to a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's, that means go back and forth. Yeah, yeah. You look at me, man. Check out the big See, brain on my. You ass. know, um, I said that to a cat. You know what I mean? Like. And it was kind of like in an argument, and I said it to a cat, you know what I mean? Like, I like to do that shit in arguments, you know what I mean? And be calm about it, like, right. and then just use words that I know they don't fucking know, because it makes them even matter. What a dick. You know what I'm saying? What an <laughs> asshole. It's like, you can't even argue me because you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Right. They need, they need to bring a goddamn glossary to your arguments and shit. Oh, you vacillating between answers right now, man. <laughs> Why you vacillating? Mm-hmm. 
You're well, too fucking how, capricious, how, man. How you know did how did they react to that shit? This this see see man see. That's why I can't talk. I can't to even you. talk to you right now. I can't even talk to you right now. <laughs> Give me a joint. I don't blame. I don't blame whoever you're arguing with either. I do not blame whoever you're arguing with. Yo, um, check this out. Yo, I come in. I come. I come back from uh, uh. I come back from um, the job the other day. I had. I get. I get a. I get a house cleaner. Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. It's if you have like I'm telling you if you live with somebody else if you got like a roommate or some shit especially where like out here in LA where they're fucking fairly affordable mm-hmm. a house cleaner is the best investment you you can ever get mm-hmm. because I've lived in houses as a roommate I I'm a roommate now with my sister and what happens is like passive aggressive shit starts happening like when toilets don't get cleaned when tubs don't get cleaned Mm -hmm. you start oh this motherfucker leaving their hair all up in there and it causes this and why do I gotta clean it and it's like you just pay for a house cleaner and there's no more bad will Mm -hmm. anymore you Mm -hmm. get they come Mm -hmm. in once a month they knock shit out Mm -hmm. it's awesome why do you say house cleaner instead of housekeeper I don't know I just I don't know house House cleaner. It's, I call them. I, yeah. what, it goes from that to fucking maid. I don't know, like, because okay. yeah, they yeah. fucking clean my goddamn house. Got you. I mean, they're, they're all they're all words that work with it. She you can't keep I mean? it. Yeah, she ain't keeping my she's shit. Not keeping it. She, she ain't. Oh, she's keeping it tight. She's keeping it. She's keeping, she's keeping it together. It, she's keeping it. Well, I don't know though. That's the thing. She's really not keeping it together. She, she's cleaning my oh, shit. Is that what? Uh, 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 is that is that what this story is about? Is that she's not keeping it real? She's, she's not keeping it. She's not all the way tidy right with my shit. She keeps showing up. First off, she keeps showing up with a fucking new child, which <laughs> which it's fucking annoying, dude. A new child. Yeah, it's like a new child every fucking time you come through here. And it's it let's be real. I got I got like a lot of shit in my fucking place. Yeah. And I got trust issues. So I trust you. And it's not like I don't think your child is a fucking I don't think your child's a thief, but yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck he's gonna be digging right, through. I'm right. gone. I'm gone for these right. times. I, I I let her in. I fucking leave. And and why why is every every time uh, uh, take your kid to work today? And yo, I yo, I, I think we we talked about this shit before. My mom used to clean houses, and I like there were certain houses like I could go inside of, and other houses, yeah, like, I had to sit outside yeah. while my mom cleaned that shit. And it's a fucked up feeling. So I'm not trying. Like, I get it. Mm-hmm. If anyone gets it, I get it. That said, you got to get the fact that I don't want to have, like, all of, I don't want to have all the Boyle <laughs> Heights coming through my goddamn crib. I saw him the last time. Well, one of them. The last time I was over there. And he was, he was kicked back. Like, he was your kid's friend. You know what I'm saying? Oh, bro. <laughs> he was chilling. I thought he had his feet up on the fucking coffee table. No, you know he saying? didn't. He, you came in, he had his, this little no. motherfucker out. I was about no, to say. No, he didn't. He was just chilling that hard, though. You know what I'm saying? Just oh. like, you know what I mean? Like he like he lived there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like she's going by his feet. He's lifting the motherfuckers <laughs> up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh you missed the spot. There you go, mommy. That, and, and I'm like, yo, and like I try, I, I even like set them up. I set up net, Netflix kids for her to her, for her to That's do awesome. it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like whatever. That's awesome. And, it's like, and I come back, dog. Windows. I come back to the crib. Windows wide open. Mm-hmm. Like you could literally step through my shit, <laughs> and fucking <laughs> open up the door and take my whole fucking house. Yeah. So like. It's a fucking problem, dude. Like, yeah, yo, that's yeah. a problem, dog. Like, yo, I got nice shit in here. This 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 neighborhood is is iffy. Yeah. I live in a iffy I live in a city, dog. I live in a fucking city. There's a lot of people there when there's where there's more people, there's a higher chance of sh- of shit happening. Mhm. And you're just fucking leaving my fucking shit open? Now, now you have uh uh she speaks man Spanish. Yeah, she don't speak no English. We yeah. we had a problem before because like my sister cleaned the crib the night before this woman's coming by. And mm-hmm. you know why she cleaned the crib the night before? Because she doesn't know when old girl comes. Because she doesn't pay for her. You right. know what I mean? Right, like, right. I fucking get the house cleaner. 
So Rachel cleans the goddamn crib. I'm like, well, that's a goddamn waste of money. We're not going to do that. You, I'm not going to have a double cleaned house. Right, right. So, like, she shows up in the morning because I, I got home late. It was too late to cancel on her. And it was the end of the month, so I didn't want to leave her out there. I understand how it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, here... Here's here's eighty bucks because I pay eighty bucks for the crib. Mm -hmm. Here's eighty bucks. Don't clean, no clean. Come back in two weeks, clean then. And mm -hmm. you're I'm paying you for it now. She leaves, comes back two weeks later, starts cleaning the house, calls me. She's like, "Where's my money?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "I gave it to you two weeks ago," and she sounded hurt to the motherfucker. Like yeah. she, she thought I just paid her fucking eighty bucks for rolling just, up to the here crib. You go. Like, I'm that, because that's what nice happened. to see you. Well, because I'm generous with her, you know what I mean? So yeah, she just yeah. figured I was just, oh, this is just him being fucking yeah, awesome. It's a bonus. So now, now she's like hurt and confused. Money spent, she, this is money she's not getting paid. So mm -hmm. I'm like, look, you know, uh, I'll pay you more next time, and th that's going to be and our. And then we're going to, and that's, that's going to be our goddamn yeah, yeah. thing. And it's, and like, so I called her up, and I don't know, she, she blamed it on her fucking kid, the, the third that he didn't one that translate. she. translate. The, the right way. Well, she blamed she blamed the window on the kid. Oh, okay. oh, my gotcha, son, gotcha, gotcha. my son opened up the front window. You know. Okay. All right. Fine. Whatever. Just don't. Oh. Either way, I'm just whether you, you know. did it or whether he did it, it's a problem. And this is the shit. And this and the, this is all sidebar shit. The shit that fucking kills me is people feel like I don't have the fucking right to complain about a house cleaner. Because I have a fucking house cleaner. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that's so, oh, oh, tough problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, first world problem. Oh, you're, you're crying about your house cleaner. Oh, oh, poor you. <laughs> what do you want? Well, fuck you. What do you want me to do? I worked hard to get this goddamn problem. Uh -huh. Now I got, I earned, I earned this fucking problem. And let's be all the way, all the way real. I don't got cable. Mm -hmm. I don't got a new car. There it is. I don't got a fucking it's car. No priorities. Note. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yo, you got a lot of. You got a lot of nice shit that I don't fucking have. Not you, but a person has a lot of nice shit that I don't have. I got nice shit. Well, I mean, you do actually. Yeah, actually, you got. <laughs> you got a car. No, you know what I mean. Like you yeah, got a car. Yeah. No, that, that, cause that's what I'm saying, man. It's all about. It's all about fucking priorities. That's my you know priorities. Cause you you pay her eighty dollars a month, man. That's not a lot of money. It's not. It's not crazy. But you know, it's. It's you know? fair for it's it's more than fair for for everybody involved. Everyone's happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, the fact the fact that motherfuckers got the nerve to be like, oh, first world problem. Oh, that's the first world. Well, fuck you, bro. We're top of the fucking food chain. I worked my ass off to get this goddamn first world problem. Cause guess mm -hmm. what? I came up as the help. Mm -hmm. Now I'm paying the fucking help, and I and like Straight I earned this. I You're earned a success this problem. story. I okay. earned it, motherfucker. It's a success story. They can't take this shit away from me. Dog, and no matter where you look, there's always going to be like, oh, oh, man, I stubbed my toe. Well, he doesn't have a foot. Like, there's always going to be someone <laughs> yeah. doing what, like, this, somebody can always one up you, it, man. It's always going to, it doesn't <laughs> negate my feelings. It's all, like cancer beats AIDS, dude. It doesn't negate shit. It doesn't make Straight shit up. less, oh, well, like, what am I? Is that can I only fucking can I only like complain if I got a fuck if I got if I got cancer in my dick? Is that what it's down to? Right, right, right. As a fucking as a white dude in America that's doing all right, that's above the that's that's in a in a good tax bracket. Straight up, fuck you. And, and now and now you know me. Of course, I got a I got a different viewpoint of it. I'm talking about with you though, right? Um, you know, because I've seen you. I've seen you come up, man. You know what I'm saying? You were shit poor. All right, I was <laughs> I was a middle class black family. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you know, like uh, I saw you. I was, <laughs> I was friends with you. <laughs> you saw my yo. You, you were out there stealing because you had to. <laughs> I was just doing it for shits and giggles. <laughs> Bro, you know what my sister? You know what my sister wanted the most in her bedroom? What? A window. <laughs> she told me that shit she told me that shit she was like I just always wished I had a window cause me and my sister we lived in a one bedroom apartment at my old man's crib and we each had a fucking we each had a closet unfinished closet with a mattress in that mm -hmm. bitch whatever dog like no, now listen y'all He's saying closet. I don't want you to think that he's saying like you know he's like using like you know uh, like he's uh, he's exaggerating that you know what I'm saying or you know it's like uh, hyperbole or something like that. It was an actual 
closet. It was a walk-in closet that was his sleeping chamber. It was my bedroom, dog. Like, if you wanted space, like, that was your bedroom. Rachel would be up in there all the time. Yeah. And my dumb ass, because they, they were both on uh, the, the they were slanted because we were on the second floor of, of a, we were on the second floor of a flat, and the, they were slanted because of the roof. Yeah. And I didn't really, it looked bigger, but it was mad. Like, it slanted, it, the, there wasn't a lot of clearance space yeah. in there. It slanted really at a weird angle, so I didn't get a lot of room. I didn't, I couldn't really, you had to crouch. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it was like a crawl yeah. space. <sighs> it was stupid. I didn't. I didn't understand how to pick rooms back then. I had first pick too. Like Rachel gave me first pick, and I picked it <laughs> like a sucker, like a fucking sucker. It looked square footage. It looked bigger. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, this is. And I start moving wanna, in. I'm bumping my face on the wall. <laughs> I'm like, shit. <laughs> You want the uh, the crawl space or where there's no insulation? <laughs> yeah, just, that was, yeah, there, yeah, I forgot there wasn't. But, and, and you know what? Like, whatever. So even if I didn't come from that, but mm-hmm. like, yo, we're Americans. We're fucking top of the food chain. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I'm grateful for what the fuck I have. Mm-hmm. That said, if something annoys me, I'm going to fucking speak on it. And I'm not going to feel bad. I'm not going to feel bad for it. And that's what it, bro, you can spend your money however the fuck you want to spend your money. The only, only reason, like, you know, because I know your, your your chick is, is looking for uh, more work. The only reason that I haven't haven't uh, uh, enlisted her, you know what I'm saying, is because uh, because there's too much of a, a language barrier there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've already worked with her and shit. You know what I mean? Like, when, when I was over there and I couldn't, you know, like, we couldn't even get hello down and goodbye down right. you know what i'm saying like, i just yo i got yo you know she she threw away my motherfucker i don't know how much ketamine she's throwing out you know what i mean just cleaning <laughs> off plates and shit like it's like come on man it's white powder on a plate what the fuck you think it is? like it's white powder on a plate and it, like what do you think it is it's like, like i'll throw the remnants of your like your fried chicken it's, it's a rolled up dollar next to that motherfucker <laughs> like what do you flower. think is happening over here lady I can't tell her shit. She threw out my, you know, she'll take the cans home with her. So I had like GHB in a fucking bottle, like yeah. just threw out the bot. Like it was like a hundred dollars worth of GHB. Just threw it out so she could get so she could get Dumped a it. so she could get a nickel for the wow. for the fucking bottle. Yeah, see, that's this what I'm saying. I can't, I can't, no. It, but that's that is the price you pay. That's mm-hmm. the price you pay for letting people up in your shit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to me, it's worth it. I like I like having I like having a fucking I like I like not fucking arguing with Rachel over who does the goddamn who's cleaning the toilet. Mm-hmm. And yo, and and, and just just like uh, we're talking about, you know, like I I have a car. You know what I mean? Like I I like the idea that uh, I like the idea that you know something goes wrong with that motherfucker. I can just take it down to the dealership, bro. I yeah, you know I drove saying? over here sweating like a motherfucker. A- AC's busting on that bitch. You know it's a black all other car. It's yeah. hot than a motherfucker. Yeah. Why you think we doing two motherfucking podcasts today? Because <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm not. There. I'm not getting in that goddamn car in this weather with the sun up. <laughs> Fucking leave out that bitch smelling like a boxing glove. Like man, no nah, man, no. Yeah. No, yeah. sir, Bob. No, sir. And that's and that's what it is, man. It's just priorities. Priorities. Is, you know, it, like the person telling me white person problems. Fucking da da da. That's some fucking spoiled asshole. Like fuck you, dude. Yeah. Fuck you. You not giving shit back. Quit feeling bad for what. Yeah. Quit feeling bad for your fucking station in life. You're not giving shit back. Straight up. And stop. Stop the fucking complaining, man. You, you know what I'm pussy. saying? It's like dog. It's like dog. Just do your thing. Stop worrying about the next man and what the next chick's doing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like just do your fucking thing. And the and the other thing is, is like first world problem. Like, what makes you think we got it so good? Because mm-hmm. most of the people I know get drunk all the time, are on a lot of fucking drugs, and if they're not drugged up, they're on prescription drugs, and like like. People aren't as happy as you think they fucking are here. There's a lot of weird stress living here in America. There's this, there's there's like weird propaganda getting shot at you all the fucking time. There's red alert, uh, red terror alerts. Like, why do you think you got it so good? Like, look at the motherfuckers in mud huts. They look happy than a motherfucker, mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. Fucking grinding grinding grains and shit in a in a bowl. But they about to eat eat like weird fire pancakes and shit like mm-hmm. they they mm-hmm. yo just because we got running water doesn't mean we got it better than these motherfuckers right. we just right, right. got a different 
Straight up. Straight up. And like and yo, man, again, again, you can't tell me how to do it, man. You can't tell me how to do it. you can't tell me what I'm supposed to be thankful for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like just because, just because, like, yo, you should appreciate that because there's people in the world that don't have. Like, yeah. nah, man, I'm not there. Right, I'm over here. Yeah, this is you know I. I'm grateful that yeah. Hey, I'm grateful that I got both my feet. I'm mad I stepped in some shit. Like, <laughs> I don't know what straight he, up, man. You know what I mean? Like, straight what do you want up. me to do? You know? Oh man, spoiled fucking spoiled American, man, spoiled American. You know, I, I don't know what I'm con. What do you want me to be? All I can, all I can do is have my experience. Like, um, I, I got like rich friends, man. Like rich friends, they just all they have their experience, you know. Mm -hmm. Like all they know is that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they don't know anything else, and it doesn't mean they're they're better people or worse or it's just right. We're not going to relate to each other right. on that same right. way. I'm, you both have appreciate things in different ways. Yeah, I'm not gonna yo a Somalian and I are gonna appreciate things differently because mm -hmm. I'm not from a fucking war torn country, but I'm not gonna feel bad for that shit. Right. I'm not going right. to feel bad because like, my uncle's not a pirate. You know right. what I mean? Straight <laughs> like, the fuck up. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, sorry. It's, it's not happening, dude. Straight the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I, I, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that, uh, uh, that you do or you don't have to be conscious of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it's, it's like, it's like, yo, man, if I am oblivious, you know what I mean? Like, it's, that's, that's just the world, man. That's just the world. I don't I don't live in that shit, man. It's just not like that in my world. And if I don't care, you know what I mean? Like I think it's I think it's my right to step over those beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing like here's the thing like as Americans, whether you like it or not, you're pretty much top of the food chain right mm -hmm. right now you're fucking top of the food chain right motherfuckers are swimming across canals to get here why because it's top of the fucking food chain mm -hmm. don't start feeling bad for that shit right you know what i mean like work hard be grateful mm -hmm. like work hard be grateful but like guilt ain't gonna mm -hmm. ain't gonna do shit mm -hmm. for you but but accept accept the hate man understand that they're embrace the hate because there's going to be the hate you know what i mean it's like we're the we're the uh the top rappers you know what i'm saying so it's some, there's gonna be cats that love you and then there's gonna be cats that hate you that's how it works but it's the shit that kills me is it's it's like it it's the it's the americans that are doing well are the fucking some of the most annoying mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like dude come on Get up, get off, get off it with your fucking liberal goddamn. Most of the liberal people I know can afford to be liberal. Mm -hmm. You're coming from a certain tax bracket where you are, where you were afforded the opportunity to be liberal, right. where you had that choice. Yeah, yeah. egg you, fucking exactly. You had that choice. So like, get off your fucking high horse, because you're the system just as much as me. You're mm -hmm. probably more the fucking system, mm -hmm. dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. oh, must be nice. For real, like, must I mean, be nice. Because, uh, uh, yeah, like you're saying, you know that that dude probably probably came up into it. You know what I mean? And he's trying to like trying to go against the grain. You know what I'm saying? Trying to break break against. Like I hear that that shit from uh, uh cats with money all the time. You know what I'm saying? White cats with money all the time. You know what I mean? Like trying to downplay their their privilege. You know what I mean? Like, well, it's just it's way it's like yeah, my 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 parents had money and you know. <laughs> But it's like uh, I, you know, I I hung out in the inner cities, and you know, and I I always try to give back. Man, fuck you. And then you drove home afterwards. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, man. You didn't, yeah, you that's... didn't take any families into your house. You know what I mean? And why the <laughs> fuck would you? Why the fuck would you, dude? That yeah, whatever, dog. Like yeah, yeah, whatever. Fucking, that's the way it is. That's it's the world, man. It's the world. In, in in that in that in that argument, like you can't fucking complain unless you got like some skin eating disease. Because no matter what, mm -hmm. no matter what, someone's got. There's always someone that's gonna have it worse than you. Right, right. That's it, dude. Like no matter what, there's always someone that's gonna have it. Oh man, my dad's a dick. My dad's dead. <laughs> my mom's being such a bitch my mom died in a fire <laughs> <laughs> well my mom's alive you know what i'm saying or the the uh the argument of uh you know what i'm saying like you know you're talking about retarded kids like what if you had a retarded kid i don't <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like i don't right? you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying like yeah so fuck retarded kids you know what i'm saying i'm just saying like i don't <laughs>
yes. <laughs> I don't, so fuck you. No. <laughs> Sorry, you don't make normal that's, babies. That's all it is, man. It's like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, should I, should I tiptoe around the thing? Should I not say retarded? Should I, you know what I mean? Like, should I, I get this special fucking uh, 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 PC vernacular? You know what I mean? Just to accommodate you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, nah, man. You know what I mean? Like, I don't live in that world, so I, there's no need for me to be yeah. conscious of that shit. Sorry that you keep. Pushing out rejects. You know what I'm saying? Like, sorry that there's. <laughs> Let me stop. Can you imagine? Sorry, you and your wife keep making broken children, bro. Sorry, your sperm's all fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not my fault, bro. Nah, it's not. We're just, we're just joking. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Man, but yo, uh, man, that's a. But you know what we're saying. You know what we're saying, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not even talking about like you know. Uh, the thing specifically, you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about these attitudes behind it. You know what I'm saying? Is it that we're all supposed to support this sentiment? You know what I mean? Which is which? What is whatever is hot? You know what I'm saying? Which is whatever the 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 button topic is? Right. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, now you care about this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there was a documentary on it. Because it came on fucking Oprah channel. Because it was a fuck like it's oh, and everyone's talking about it. Well, it was there before, <laughs> right? Man. You know what I mean? It's been going on. It was there before. You didn't care last week, but this week you want me to care because you just found out about the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fuck out of here. That's yeah, that's that's yeah, that's that's it. That's typical. That's American. Shit that used to kill me is the fucking um Goddamn pink ribbons, man. The fucking pink ribbons all over the guy. The breast cancer pink ribbons. Mm -hmm. What the fucking It's like it's like <laughs> And if you're like, yo, man, fuck those pink ribbons. Mm -hmm. People are like, you fuck breast cancer? No. <laughs> right. I didn't say fuck breast cancer. I said fuck. Fuck those pink ribbons. Fuck people making money off of breast Straight cancer. Up. Like, it's bad enough this fucking woman's got to lose her tit. Uh, you're going to fucking make a... There's, there's, a, there's a corporation that's going to make some money off of this shit? Yeah. Disguised as a fucking... As a... Charity. As or, a charity? Yeah, yeah. Fuck a you, cause, dude. Cause, yeah. It's like football in October. You don't watch sports. It's National Breast, breast uh, Fucking Cancer Month. And they're just fucking pink everything. Pink mm -hmm. everything. It's fucking annoying, dude. Mm -hmm. and, and then I'm supposed to be like, yeah, hey, bro, sorry that you lost your mom to fucking cancer, but like these dudes rocking fucking pink is not bringing her ass back. No. And they're making no. It's blood money they're making. It is fucking. It's it's the opposite of bringing her back. They are profiting off of your pain, dude. Straight up, straight up. And Americans, dumbass, just <laughs> eat it fucking up. Right. Hook, line, and sinker, man. And you know, like this, this really like get into the effectiveness of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, is that really like? the direction we should be pushing in you yeah, know what i'm saying because yeah to come up with better strategies to make people more aware of the shit it's like nah man take that fucking money and put it in the research well they yeah they, oh, that's the thing they don't research they don't even research causes they just research treatment so they're not even trying to fucking there's actually an interesting documentary on the butt on the breast cancer thing it's called like pink ribbons incorporated or some shit like mm -hmm. that and it, and like yo that money does not first off you know who knows how much of it is actually going to the research. And yeah. then of that money, it's not even going to the fucking, to causes of breast cancer. So then you don't know how to fucking stop breast cancer because you don't know what's causing breast cancer. You just right. know, not, you're just going for treatment, which is just, it's like more money, more money, fucking more money. Mm -hmm. And so, yo, and let's be real. What the fuck? What you, okay. You just, you and you and the family just walked five, uh, walked to 5k. Mm -hmm. Like how did it, what mm -hmm. did you what did you accomplish besides like some fucking fake feeling of empowerment? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, my I just did it because my grandma. It's like, yeah, you know, fuck it. Yeah, it's not really. It's kind of you just. They're playing off your emotions. Mm -hmm. Sorry that they're playing off of your emotions, but you you walk in five k with a bunch of other people that, uh, you know, th that have been touched by breast cancer. They're just fucking. They're getting over on y'all yeah. cats, dude. Yeah. And the shit is real, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even saying that the shit is real. I know you're not either, but you know, like, no, like man. I've had I've had three ants. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, with the uh, with breast cancer. That's what I'm. That's the you shit. I got people in my family with the same shit, and that's what pisses me off the most. It's like, yo, yeah, I feel a certain way about it. Cancer's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Cancer's fucked up. But you know what's worse than cancer? People getting paid off of cancer. Mm -hmm. 
people getting paid off of other people's paid misery. Paid off of suffering. And, and mm-hmm. then disguise it like they doing good. Like they give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. That's a goddamn mm-hmm. money grab. That's a mm-hmm. fucking money grab. I don't tr- Look, don't trust no one ever. Never? Ever. That's how, that's, that's, <laughs> that's how you live. Don't trust no one ever. Um, there, uh, this yeah. is, this is not like, this is not, I don't think that's related to this in any way. You know, that's all right. We, but we've exhausted. I don't want to talk about cancer. No you don't more. want to talk about breast cancer anymore. L- let's talk about this. Uh, um, uh, did you hear about this, this, uh, this ride sharing shit? You know what I'm saying? How they're they're canceling in LA. Like the ride sharing shit, yeah. you know, there's ride sharing apps, uh, uh Lyft and uh Sidecar. Actually it's funny you say that because there's a pink there's pink mustache cars. Pink mustache. That yeah, was yeah. I thought were breast cancer cars. Thought, and I was mad. And that's at what them. made me think of it. That's what, what made me mad. I would drive I'd be like fucking dumb breast cancer breast cars. Cancer. <laughs> really? Really? Now it's to fucking pink mustaches, the two things I hate the most, pink and mustaches. I don't hate mustaches. I hate that. I hate that they've become fashionable all of a fucking sudden. The mustaches or just pink? Just mustache. Well, because remember, like what six, seven years ago, like cats wouldn't like cats would ironically grow a mustache with mm-hmm. a wink. Like, yeah, I'm just growing a mustache. Wink, wink. Mm-hmm. I know it looks ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Like they couldn't even grow it on their face, like with some balls. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I got a mm-hmm. yeah. I want a mustache. Yeah, I want to grow a mustache. They have to like grow it like as a stupid proportions and yeah. They're just like, oh, look how wacky I am. I'm just growing a mustache. It'd be ironic, just uh, in case you reject me. I was just kidding anyway. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, you fucking pussy. I'll shave it. <laughs> and now it's like fashionable. Now, and now it's like fucking like it's fashion. Like with the Raleigh fingers twisted up, wax mustaches mm-hmm. are cool now. It's, yeah. it's it's come to that. But That's- it was started by a bunch of pussies. That's your people out in uh, uh That's white people fucking Silver Lake. It's fucking it's a certain brand of white person. Yeah. I see they're 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 getting busy with their beards too. The beards and the mustaches. Bro, and- that's why I shaved my beard. I was walking cuz you know, I, yo. Like I yo, like as soon as I could grow facial hair, I was staying I stayed bearded up for yeah, fucking yeah. years. Like I had facial hair at all times. And then I was like I had a nice beard going. I was crossing the street and it was like some dick bags with beards too, and I'm like, looking yeah. like you know, looking like the Beach Boys pet sounds and shit. And I'm like, <laughs> nah, dude, it's over. I'm gonna shave this yeah, shit. We're going the opposite it's route. It's when it becomes a fucking thing for me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Where it's like, yeah, beard gang, and you know what I mean? Like yeah. this is what we're doing. It's like, nah, man, I don't want to be with you. You know what kills me is the black guys that are rocking the Muslim beards. Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> You're not a fucking Muslim. <laughs> You just got a fat face you're trying to mask, yeah, bastard. Yeah, man. It's your fucking chin beard. <laughs> looking like a black Amish motherfucker. Fuck off. So dig it, dig it, dig it. So anyway, the, the ride sharing shit, right? Like, uh, um, uh, you know, like they got the apps and shit where you can go in and then, like, you know, it's it's just somebody else that has the app, too. I don't understand. Wait, I don't understand the ride share shit. So you're like, I need a ride somewhere. So you get on the app and you're yeah. like. Like Lyft, right? You got you, the, the pink mustache shit. Um. Uh, you go on the app, you know right. what I mean. You say what area you're in, right? And if there if there are any Lyft drivers there, you know what I'm saying, which are just regular people, you know what I mean, that have like applied and you know they got took on as uh as Lyft drivers, right? Okay. Um, they'll uh they'll come get you, you know what I'm saying, and you you pay you pay them less than you would pay like a cab. How much you know would it saying? cost? Um, I don't I don't know, it's just less than a, a traditional cab would cost you. You know what I'm saying? Um. And they, that's their that's their whole you know pitch is that it's like a friend coming to get you and shit like this here blah blah. Oh, that's Wait. weird, dude. It's it's strange, right? But in, yeah. but now they they just they they've been doing this shit. I think for like a couple years. You know what I mean? You and so you've had you got like uh, these uh, these uh, companies that you know have been making some shit happen, and it's going over. It's going on around you know in several places, uh, uh, popular cities around the country and shit. But um, L.A. decides last week. You know what I mean? Because the cab companies come together. Yeah. That uh, they're tired of getting undercut. You know what I mean? And so they've they made that shit illegal. All three companies. It. You know what? And I read I read the article and like they got a good argument, dude. Mm-hmm. The cab the cab companies have a good argument. But I'm I'm not I'm I'm not well. See the thing is, the, what they're trying to push is the 
the legal uh, and the, the, the security. Cabs, well, yeah, the ca- well, the cab drivers have to go through all, have to hop through all these hoops to become drivers. To, to become and drivers, shit. and yeah. the, you know, and uh, the lift people don't. The screening shit. Yeah, they don't. They don't have to do shit and like so, that. So, like, and I hear them on that. I hear them on that. You know what I mean? But like again, as we've discussed, them so many. So How does Lyft things, make money? Is uh, uh, they get a percentage of it? You know what I'm saying? Okay. They get a percentage of uh, uh, of the ride. Um, but uh, it's it's just like where does it end? You know what I'm saying? It's like where does it end? It's like if they can if they can do that, you know what I'm saying? Can't they can't they put a sanction on like uh, uh, me just giving you a ride and you putting uh, you putting dollars on the tank? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it isn't I that think, the same logic? Well, it's traceable. And Lyft is making money, so it's yeah. a different logic. And they're losing money. That's that's the that's the whole whole point about Who's this. It isn't money? about you know what I mean? they don't oh. give a fuck about public safety or oh, no, this, bullshit. It's done under the guise of you know, giving a fuck about yeah. a person, but no, it's it's just about like yo, our pockets a little bit light. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And we think it's because of you, motherfuckers. Well, and I actually I feel for the cab drivers because yeah. you know this is something that they've picked and now. Technology has come along and they have to adjust because mm-hmm. you can make it out. You could they can outlaw it, but they're going to figure out a way to get around it. So regardless of what they've done, cab drivers aren't safe. Mm-hmm. Like they're just not they're, safe. Oh yeah, they're going to they're going to appeal it shit just for that just for that reason. I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying because there is no distinction between that. You know, what I'm saying like you me there giving is you a, a distinction ride, between that because Lyft makes money. Uh, no, I'm saying like oh. me giving you a ride and you putting 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 money in the tank. No, that's what I'm saying. It's a difference. If Lyft didn't make any money, and if it was just a fucking, if it was if it was just some free shit of ride sharing and whatever you and I did between ourselves was just between ourselves. If I decided to give you some money or decided not to give you some money, but it was commonplace to get some money out of yeah. there, that might be a little bit different. But that that will be that will be the argument. You know what I'm saying? Because like Doug, it's 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 kinda like it's an open marketplace. You know what I'm saying? It's just like eBay. Okay? Like eBay takes a percentage of, you know, like the business that that cats do on their site. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the transactions that they make on their site. You know what I'm saying? I don't and get it though. What do you, I don't understand. Like basically, basically, Doug. I'm saying that the, if if you and I start doing that shit, you know what I'm saying, and then I'm I'm do I I'm do, I'm just doing that with everybody. You know what I'm right. saying? Like everybody's just paying me money to it take is, them around, shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Then I, I've got a business, right? Right. I've got a business. You're a gypsy cab, and that's illegal. But who's to say? Who's that's, to say? Being like, a gypsy if, cab what, is illegal. What bro. is the? Yeah, I know. I know. What I'm so, saying is. What I'm saying is that will be this will be their argument, man. You know what I'm saying? Whose this will, argument? This will be uh, the lift coming when when they appeal. You know what I'm saying? So their argument is a shitty argument. Um, because uh, what you just told me sounded like shit. Bro. With, <laughs> there has to be there has to be a uh, uh, competition, man. You know what I'm saying? They, there has to be competition. You I'm know not what saying mean? there doesn't they, have to be competition, they, but if there's... they step up their screening pro- uh, process, you know what I'm saying, and and it makes it like because one of the companies uh, their their shit is legal. All they got to do is make the lift. All they got to make the all they got to do is make the shared ride drivers go through the same screening process as taxi right? cabs, and, and then their argument is done. And, and that's and that's it. And that's what I'm what's what I'm saying is that their shit is not going to hold up. You know. Know what I mean? No, like this. it's all yo, dude. Technology is here, and and people are people are figuring out ways to make money with it. And the people that aren't adjusting are fucking getting. Look at what happened. Are they getting lost? Like look what happened with the the fucking record people, dude. Like they mm-hmm. just they fucking they were bleeding money for years. They couldn't figure out how to fucking make money. They mm-hmm. still don't. I for my book, dude. Like for my book with uh. Universal's interested. And I'm like, yo, this is what I want to do with y'all. I want to do a book on tape. You guys can you you guys can fucking sell the book on tape and we could chop it up. Mm-hmm. Like the book is, you know, the book is done. How much is I can I it's not going to cost anything. Mm-hmm. It's not going to cost them anything. This is like a pretty easy they're fu- the they're so old and archaic they don't even mm-hmm. understand like they to don't wrap their head around it yeah, but they're yeah. like but it's a book it's <laughs> not music i'm like <laughs> sell it in the same fucking marketplace <laughs> it's a book i don't understand how we're supposed to sell a book i don't know like you sell songs right it's, yeah. it's, it's selling as a fucking mp3 audio books 
digital books. That's the thing. That's what so it is. There's these, this new. There's just new blood like Lyft and all these people coming in. They're like, okay, we can make money like this. And the old blood doesn't know what to fucking do. Mm-hmm. And it's happening. It's happening quicker than ever. Mm-hmm. Like a 21 year old, his view of how to make money is going to be totally different than mine. Mm-hmm. 36 because he's he's grown up in it. Mm-hmm. I'm just like kind of watching it happen and I'm trying to adjust as I go. I'm just getting used to sending girls. texts. Right. I'm just getting used to sending girls texts this year. It's innovation, man. Yeah. It's innovation. And they're going to. And, and this is always what happens. Old people are going to try to block that shit. Mm hmm. And uh, and if and if they got enough money, they will. Mm-hmm. That's they'll, they'll block it for a while. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, this I was gonna say an art, I was gonna say some shit, but it d- doesn't even fit. But I'll say it anyway, like yeah. um, because it's now I'm saying it. I don't really think it fits, but well, it's like too late now. We come up. like the trolleys and shit like that in L.A. Yeah. and in Detroit, like the trains and all that. Yeah, like public trans public transportation and all. The fucking tire companies bought them shits and just shut mm-hmm. them down. Mm-hmm. I mean, the electric car, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, if if you know if it's going if it's going to fuck up somebody's uh, uh, money flow, man. You know what I'm saying. They're gonna shut it down they, if yeah. they can. Yeah, that's what's you know? and that's that's what's happening. The cats that are lining, you know, the uh, uh, the politicians' pockets in L.A. You know what I mean. Put them out. Yo, shut that shit down, bro. That was with, like, the legal the weed and shit. Like, they're having so much problems, like, with the weed. They're always trying to make it illegal, make it legal, like, out here. It's like, yo, if any of these fucking weed girls were smart, they would just go buy themselves some goddamn politicians. Mm-hmm. Buy some city council members and mm-hmm. quit... Like start paying them motherfuckers. Yeah, dude. Like start paying them you guys, they're making millions selling weed right now. Like share the fucking wealth Straight because up. guess what? Beer companies are gunning for you. Alcohol companies are gunning for you. Mm-hmm. Cigarette companies probably gunning for you. You know, and, like and, and like you saying, dog. Realize that this is what they want. This that's the only reason that they're in the way. You know what I mean? Because they're waiting for you to pay. Yeah, just you know give, yeah, just, just just pay them some money. Give me that loot. Just right? pay them some like yeah. Just pay them some money, dude. Give me a loot, and they'll be all for it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, if Lyft and Sidecar and whatever the fuck the other company was were, were paying the right people, you know what I mean? This wouldn't Cab even companies be a wouldn't even came in. Nope. They, they, you know? they would have just been, man, it's fucked up. It's like, how much money are you making? Right? Yep. Let's talk let's talk about that. You know? Lyft will be back. They'll figure, all the shit will be back. They'll just figure out a way to get around it again. Because mm-hmm. that's what people do. The, some, one person going to put up a roadblock, another person going to get around it. Mm hmm. It's, it's, it's that easy. It's fucking that easy, though. Yeah, it is. I don't know about, like, I don't know about, I bet you a lot of, I bet you if you're a uh, friendly motherfucker, you can get some pussy doing that shit, driving around, fucking chopping it up. Like, there, people are stuck talking to you. Mm-hmm. People are stuck in your, especially if, like, you, like I'm, I imagine, like, if you're, like, a, a decent looking guy with a Prius mm-hmm. out here, you're going to mm-hmm. fucking just slay bitches, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, it seems like a decent way to fucking. And it's it's, it's new laid. shit, you know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 new shit, you know. So Some you have that conversation. Like, oh, so you make money doing this? Shit. Yeah. Where you from? What do you work? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. Yo, dude, that fucking those cars look so stupid yeah, with do. that fucking pink. I don't want to have that shit on my car, man. I thought, especially you got assholes like me that are like, oh, fucking cancer, <laughs> <laughs> fucking breast cancer, mustaches. I thought I was like, I thought, I thought like all those people's like mom died from breast cancer, and I was still mad at him. Like, fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck that dude, man. It's a it's but that is the future. Like look at fucking look at uh look at Redbox. Mhm. Redbox which for people that don't know, if you it, like cuz I didn't know what the fuck it was for mm-hmm. the longest. Um it's the red box on the side of grocery stores and shit mm-hmm. and in that box are new release movies mm-hmm. on DVD. Redbox has been able to fucking replace Blockbuster, mm-hmm. uh, this giant brick and mortar corporation mm-hmm. business that mm-hmm. that would employ like fifteen people at the same time mm-hmm. with a fucking box, dude. Mm-hmm. And and yo, they they didn't do it alone. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a combination of it's a combination of. Uh, and it's not it's not really these companies, you know what I'm saying? But like you got Amazon, Netflix, and uh, now Red now Redbox, you know what I'm saying? It's streaming, 
You know what I'm saying? It's streaming that's what's killing killing everything. Streaming is killing a uh, um is killing a uh, a uh, uh, physical. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, but even so, like technology wise, like Redbox, basically you get the same you get the same fucking shit that you get from Blockbuster that mm-hmm. would employ this many people to do it. And mm-hmm. now all I got to do is walk up to a fucking Boom. box, twenty four seven anywhere. And you know get what I'm saying? It. You can get you can get that shit. You know, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like I don't look at look at these things is is from you know from from uh, the record stores to the uh, to the newspapers to magazines books. You know what I'm saying? I don't look at them as becoming obsolete. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you before, they're just getting absorbed. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're getting absorbed by this this. They're getting absorbed by the cloud. You know what I mean? The because only shit that's that, the future. The, the future that, is not physical. The shit that concerns me though is like news. Mm-hmm. Because there's no more like, and I'm not even saying all the news is always real anyway. But there's like, no one like it's no fact checkers. They're just trying. It's not about right information. It's about mm-hmm. fast information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a lot of that information is wrong, dog. Like yeah. a lot of it's wrong. It's not well thought out. And so in a time where there's so much, it's so easy to get information so quick. It seems like there's some of the most ill-informed people right now. Mm-hmm. Like they just don't know shit. Mm-hmm. But see, that that's the thing, though, is like we're so used to getting uh, this instant gratification now. You know what I'm saying? With with news stories, by the time a paper comes out, bro, that story is old. But the thing, but that story's right. You know what I'm saying? True. That story's right. right. True. But but um, you know, what I mean, like everybody knows about it already around the world from Twitter. Well, that, the, that and that's the problem, like, with the speed. Like, the black guy that ate the dude's face off. Yeah, yeah, Bath salts, bath salts, bath salts. And they're cracking down on bath salts, and bath salts are coming for... Dude wasn't even on fucking bath salts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wasn't even... You can't unring that bell. Right. <laughs> you can't unring that right. bell, dude. I don't right. know what the fuck he was on, but he, he ain't test positive for that. Right. And, it, yo, and, dog, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's, uh... That, I mean, I, I think that that is, yeah, that's that is a uh, uh, black people to should say stop eating about people the fucking uh, right? um, fucking technology. You know what I'm saying? But it's about also black people uh, eating people's faces, you know, but that's not to Handle say your that, drugs. that newspapers, you know what I'm saying? News reporters and shit have never got it wrong. You know what I mean? Is it fair to like, say? Just, I'm not saying they never got it wrong, but there's there, there was a, it's there just was a, when it's wrong now. It's when it's wrong now. You know what I mean? Like it spreads wrong really fast now. You know I think I mean? it's wrong now more than it was before. That it it's extra I just, wrong? No, there's just I think there's more occurrences of it being wrong mm-hmm. because there's less fact checking. So just it's just gonna happen mm-hmm. that way. But I mean Doug And the pieces aren't even the thought. The technology out. has made made all of us a fucking reporter. And the, and here's the other deal. Like you I like for for me, like cause I'll be looking up stories. It'll be the same story twenty times mm-hmm. on twenty different fucking websites. The same story, verbatim, twenty times, twenty different websites. But won't you, and if, if that story is wrong, then it's wrong twenty times in twenty different fucking mm-hmm. websites. Because most of them are getting it from the same source. You know what I'm saying? And when you when you're looking at looking up a news story, you know what I'm saying? Like you hear somebody died or something like that. Don't you go through like a few different sources to like try to fact check it? I just go to Twitter, bro. Twi- I mean, that, no, of I course. No, okay. I don't. I don't that, yeah, yeah, fact check it, but like. I'm. I hate to say it. I'm smarter than the average person. You know, and, and the average person is a fucking dumbass. I know, because the, mo- the motherfuckers is just gonna go with whatever they whatever they see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, it's, it's, see, it's, oh, it's, on Twitter, who's he's dead? Oh, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just they're just gonna put that out. But but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, like I said, it, it's made everybody. Everybody a reporter. It's it's put everybody into the fucking conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying whether that's good or bad. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, it's put everybody in the conversation. It's gave everybody two cents. And, and you know what? That being said, I've found out news quickly. Yeah. Because of that shit. But I don't know if I'm better for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm better for it. I would rather get the shit slow and right than fucking fast and wrong. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But that's not the way it is. That's just, that's not the way it is. I, man, I, you know... You know me, man. I'm I'm a fucking technophile, bro. I love technology. You know what I'm saying? But like lately, lately I've I've just I've just been been on some opposite shit. You know what I mean? Like just like like all at the show. I was telling cats, man. Like just let's put the phones down, man. 
Let's put the phones down. As a We're perform- all on our yeah. fucking phones, let me, let me ask you that. As a performer, yeah. you're doing the show. Mm-hmm. And you just you just want to rock the crowd. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How do you feel when there's thirty goddamn fucking cameras, cameras in up? my face? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't really think about that much. You know what I'm saying? Because like when I'm in it, man, I'm in it. You know what I mean? Like I'm right. not I'm not even thinking about that. I'm I'm you know I'm on blackout mode. But um, I'm talking about they're not in it with you though. I'm talking about like when we're kicking it, man. They're you know not what I'm in saying? it with you, bro. We're kicking it. We're chilling. You know, we're we're just we're just chilling. We're having a fucking conversation, man. Stop pulling your fucking phone out. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop pulling your phone out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Uh, an emergency is an emergency. And you're in business, you're in business, and you're, you got emails and texts coming through. But, dog, don't pull out your... I'm having a conversation with you, like, as you're listening to me right now, you get a little chime, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's just some bitch hitting you. Like, dog, fuck you. Well, the, the thing is, is back in the day, that was, like, just, like, people at the dinner table. It was, you just didn't do that shit. Yeah. And yeah. it's, it's become more and more and more acceptable. Acceptable. Yeah. It's the the the, the man, rules for manner is changing. The mm-hmm. manner rules are changing. And you know what? It's like uh, it changes with different people. Young people, you can do anything you fucking want with mm-hmm. them. They're not going to find it rude. And yeah. but like yeah. somebody older, I might. I remember. I remember. I'm out with Sonya back in the day, and she took a fucking phone call at the table. And I was like, man, you fucking turning L.A. to the motherfucker. Look at you, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, just me and her, I got in an argument. Like, man, you fucking corny as hell for that. You know, I'm calling her all like all types of cornies and lames and saying she's fucking, she's not Detroit no more because she's taking <laughs> fucking phone calls at the table. Can right. you imagine that shit? Right, right. <laughs> it's like fucking everyone does that now, dog. Straight up, man. Does it make it right? I don't know. All I'm saying is this is happening, bro. Like, it's happening. Mm-hmm. And I agree with you. What? I was one of the last people to come around to these fucking computer phones mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because I turned into what I was afraid I was going to turn into. Yeah. I turned into that fucking dude that, because I already know, I already got a like OCD fucking compulsion. I'm compulsive. Yeah. So it's like, I'm that guy in my phone all the fucking time. You you came in here, you came in here to do the show. What was I doing? Russell. Playing on my fucking phone, mm-hmm. dog. Russell. Playing mm-hmm. on my fucking Cause, phone. Because you got it and it's there. You know what I'm saying? So you're so you're you're playing the games, you're on fucking Instagram, you're on, on fucking uh, uh uh Twitter and you know what I'm saying? Like you just you just you're just on it, you know what and, I mean? You're texting, you're emailing, you know what I mean? It's like like I said, you're in business, it's an emergency, I hear all that, man. Right. You know, but like there are times there are times when it's just you just look really lame doing that shit, man. Well yeah, and that's what it is. You know, you go out and it's like you go out, you see it, like everyone's face down on the phone. Mm-hmm. It's uh and we're just coming more and we're becoming more and more disconnected and we're kinda turning into little robots. Yeah. And I thought I was hoping that I wouldn't be part of that but i am mm-hmm. to to a certain you can't degree help it. you can't help it dog as soon as you get one of these phones you're in there you know what i'm saying it's like you're fucking tron you know what i'm saying yeah. like you're, you're in the matrix you know like that's that's just what happens man you know what i mean like you get there because the the activity that that goes on on these these uh uh these phones you know what i'm saying it changes your behaviors you know what i mean it you know they're they're built to do that. Well, I got on Instagram and it was like I just the I got kicked off a few times and I was happy for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like I got back on because I'm like, all right, man, this book is gonna drop soon. I gotta sell the fucking book. I need to reach out as many people as possible. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But like I stopped just experiencing shit. Like everything was like, oh, this would be a good Instagram. Oh, I'm an Instagram. Oh, that's a good Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm no longer living in the world. Right. I'm no longer experiencing the world, right. and it's not even like. Well, it's not even sincere. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. everything is like, if I'm planning on documenting the shit, it's no, I'm no longer part of the shit. Right. I'm right. just, I become a recorder. That's and and that's what I was saying about like, yo, you over here rocking the crowd. They're not. They're they're just watching you, bro. They're not even. They're not even rocking with you. No. They're just. They're all they are, are taping proof that they were there. Right. Just so, just so they can share it, you know what I mean. And, and most majority of the time, I'm on Instagram. You know what I mean? It's it's the 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 real things that you know what I mean. Like I understand, like providing enjoyment for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment for cats. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of times I post I post pictures that I think is funny, and I think right, somebody right. else will think it's funny. You know right, what I right. mean? Um, but that's what it that's what it becomes. Is like uh, half the time they are. Let me share this joke. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
and 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 that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, right. and I create a lot of a lot of my own shit. You know, um, those are the funny ones. You know, uh, and it breaks my heart when they they're not they don't get a lot of likes. <laughs> See, and that's the thing. that's the other thing. Like, if you don't get enough likes, like your fucking self esteem is attached to the likes on Instagram. Like, if you don't get enough likes, then it's like, man, what am like who, who am I as a person? Right, right, and that's that's what I'm saying. Is like it changes us, man. It changes us intrinsically. You know, like we start to it changes our value systems. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we start to value these things like something that didn't even fucking exist. Right. That we didn't give a fuck about. You know, all of a sudden, like I got to have likes. Suddenly, if suddenly if you don't have someone like some fucking nobody from goddamn Tacoma co-signing your fucking right. picture, like it's not You're a good invalid. picture. You know, what I'm <laughs> the picture's yeah. not good. And then you pick something <laughs> dumb. The shit I keep getting in trouble with is like chicks will like my shit, right? And they got these tiny little pictures. And uh and then they all got the blocked profiles. And me being the fucking hornball that I am. I'm just yeah. in part of my brain. Like part of my brain, whether it's real or not, like I'm just like, I don't try to fuck her. I'm gonna yeah. try to fuck this one. I'm gonna try to fuck this one. I'm trying to fuck this one. I'm like a fucking machine. I'm gonna fuck 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 fuck. So then I like try to befriend them so I can see what they look like. Mm-hmm. And then they say, yeah, and then they're not cute. And then you, it's too late. It's too late. Now I'm committed. <laughs> it's too late. Now I'm fucking committed because they know. They don't, they'll know. Yeah. Like, if I stop following them, follow it, yeah. they're going to notice. They got they got 37 <laughs> followers. I just made them 38. If they lose a fucking follower, they've, they notice. They've already took a picture of your shit. The, oh. He's following me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you take that shit off. You know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna kill them. Bro, I got this broad. She's like a, uh, she looks so cute in the face, and she's just like a fat Mexican mom or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And yo, every one of her fucking pictures is like Hispanics be like this. Hispanics be like that. <laughs> Hispanics say, "Give me some sugar for my coffee." Like it's like, yo, man, like really, I don't give a fuck, like. Yo, I want, you fuck know, you, man. You know what we need? You know what we need? Instagram, listen, okay? I'm going to give you some things that you need right now, all right? You need a preview, okay? You need a preview. I want a preview before I before I, I commit to, you know what I'm saying, a following. I just want a preview that's, of the you. pictures real I quick. Just want, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would like it, to just see are you fuckable. You know what I mean? Because then I'll follow Boom. you. And I don't want them to know because because I'm thinking about them and their feelings now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want them, you know, like, I don't want her to be upset because I follow and she got excited and right. they're like, oh, I unfollow. You know what I mean? Because... I saw that, you know, it really wasn't what I thought it was. This is one guy, he just, I like his pictures, but he'll just fucking, he'll post like 20 he in a row. your timeline. And yeah, it's yeah. like, I don't even want to put one like, because I don't want to encourage this right, guy. Right, like, right. I, and I, I genuinely like every one of his pictures, <laughs> but part of me is like, fuck you, man. Really? With your 20 fucking pictures, bro? Fuck you. Right, man. Like, you're, it's that important? Dog, I unfollow people all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, and there'll be people that, you know, who post shit that I like sometimes, right. you know what but I mean? But they just do it, they but just... you just start flooding the fucking timeline, man, like, you know, like, I can't do anything with that, so I'll unfollow you, you know? There's a lot of that. I was following a couple chicks from back home, back in Pontiac and shit, and it was like... I think we were talking about this, and I just had to, I'm trying to pull it up just so I got some, like, examples, mm -hmm. but it would just, they're just so fucking, they're, they're so poor. I yeah. can't even, like, they're just so, they're so small town broke with their fucking working as fucking dental hygienist receptionists <laughs> with their fucking positive affirmation. Life is like a camera. Focus on what's important. Capture the good times. Develop the negatives. And if <laughs> things don't work out, take another shot. It's like, <laughs> like, bitch, you work at fuck. You work at you. You wear pink scrubs to work, and you're not a doctor. Like, yeah. come on. Like, ain't shit that yeah. positive, you fucking single mom. Quit fucking, <laughs> quit flooding my goddamn shit with all this positive sh Like, I, I'm following you because I want to see that ass. <laughs> there, there we go. All right? Like, quit showing me we pictures. Go. Fuck your kid. Right? Understand this, y'all. All this shit is about sex, man. It's all about sex. For me, it is. You know what I'm saying? For me, it is, too. You know what I mean? Like, like, Doug, I, I'm not even saying, I'm not even saying, like, you know, I, like Instagram, right? Right. I only follow dudes that I that I know. 
You know what I'm saying? Or or that uh, um, you know, like I've I've met some kind of way. You know what I mean? Like, uh, um, but uh, or they're like repping my shit really hard. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll put a follow. But of course, I'll check their shit out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, um, but not if they're they're private. You know what I mean? Like if your shit's private, man. Like you really think your shit's that important, dude? Especially if, honestly, especially if you're a man, straight up. Like you're a man and you got like and a your private. Shit's private. The only way you should have a private Instagram if if you're a man and you're cheating on your girl and she doesn't have your Instagram. You know what I mean? Like, I, that makes sense. But right. other than that, what are you like afraid of getting raped or some right. shit like that? Now, I think I think what a lot of them think is that uh, uh, it'll get them more followers if they they keep their shit on private. You know what I'm saying? Now you get in order to see, and then they'll tag you in the shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta like follow them are if you, you want to see the picture and shit. Can't do that shit all the time. I won't follow you for that, man. I won't follow you for that. Fuck you. Um, uh, uh, but, like, that's that's all I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I'm following females, man, you know what I'm saying? It's usually because I'm hoping that you will put a picture up of your ass. I was uh, I was going through my Google uh, Google Plus, which was a complete fucking failure. Mm -hmm. They were trying to, like, outdo Facebook, and it just was it didn't, it was, stu Bomb. It was Bomb. stupid and didn't make sense. And, but you can have different, you had different uh, circles that you could put people in. I forgot that I had done this. Yeah. And there was literally a circle that said girls that I might try to fuck. <laughs> and then I went through there and I was like, the time that I spent on these women yeah. and how many I actually did fuck. Yeah. It wasn't worth it. And then like, they never look as good as they dude. No. I'm never like, man, you really look as good as your picture. Yeah. Like you really. <laughs> I thought that one angle that you did, like where your nose doesn't look as big and your eyes look super fucking developed, like I, I mm -hmm. thought that was gonna be mm -hmm. as pretty as it gets, but no, this is like mm -hmm. way prettier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they never look as good. The pussy's never as good. There, it's just you know. And and, and not another thing it. that I want to speak to <laughs> is that understand this, ladies. Okay, you know, like I can't speak for everybody. I can't speak for judo. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that, like. There's a certain evolution to this. There's a certain natural evolution to this. If I hit you up on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, like you you follow me and I follow you, you know what I'm saying, and you DM me, you know what I mean, that tells me that you're trying to evolve in a certain way. You know, DM or, means dick message. Or, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Sending them a dick message. Like, what you're, what you're telling me is, you know, or at least how I take it, you know what I mean? I'm, uh, you know, like, I don't even know what your intentions are, but at least how I take it is, is that you want to take this into some back room shit. It's, and the worst is, especially when they got men and they fucking, it's like, yo, just be a fan. Straight up. Don't reach out to me. Straight because up. Uh, I'm going to try to get naked pictures out yeah. of you or something. Like something that's not respectful to your fucking, to your, I'm a scumbag. <laughs> I'm, I'm not making enough money. I'm really not. I'm not making enough money here where it's like, I'm, where I feel like I'm separate than you guys. Yeah. Like I'm not, I don't feel like I've I've out earned. Like I'm not in the millionaire, you know. I'm not right. a millionaire where I'm like separate from y'all. I'm right. I'm right in it with right. you. So I'm gonna, you're my peer. I'm gonna try to fuck. Right. Like that's it. Right. And and you you've heard us say it before. You know what I'm saying? We try to fuck with the people that fuck with us. You know what I mean? That's that's it. Like I'm not out tr reaching out to chicks that aren't trying to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you know, like if you come in, if you come in here, you know what I mean. The first thing I'm thinking is like, you know, like oh yeah, mm -hmm. either she's fuckable or she's not fuckable. You know what I mean? Like I'm not thinking like, oh man, I want me and her can be like really good friends. We're not going to be friends, man. I hope we can have some real meaningful conversations <laughs> about <laughs> rap music. Like I, I got real friends for that. Like fuck Straight off. Straight the fuck up, yeah. All right, damn dog. We down to a minute thirty. Okay, hey yo. Um, this is the for really show. Yeah, for, for really show dot com one r for really show dot com. Uh, and it's for really show at gmail dot com. Hit us up if you uh want to talk about some shit, man. You got a problem with something we've said on here? You know what I mean? We can handle it on Gmail. Internet beef, bitch. It will at least give us some shit we could talk shit about on the next show. Yeah. Where I could, you can just go in, call you out your name. Straight the fuck up. I'll call you a fuck boy. I'm, yo, uh, I'm still a fresh on Twitter. 
And I'm Sanaim Silla on uh, Instagram. You know, all this shitting on social you networks just, yeah, that we did. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up. fucking shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, all right. And there it is. I'm Judy Anthony Angelini. This I'm is Ross. The all, uh, pff, the all Out Show. The motherfucking, uh, for really. For really. For really.